Hey guys, it's Albert in Muffin Group. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to add some nice animation effects for loop sliders like card animation type you actually see on the screen right now. This feature will undoubtedly enrich your slides with eye-pleasing visual effects. Let's not waste the time then on this introduction and let's jump to my screen. What you actually see on the screen right now is loop slider representation in the BE Builder. Let me edit section so you can see how it was built. Query type is posts and post type is offer. It means content in this slider will be populated with data located in the offer custom post type, which you can find on the left bar in main WordPress dashboard between clients and portfolio. Of course, we need to add the slides first, but that's not what this video is about, so I will skip this step. By the way, if you didn't have a chance to meet the loop builder yet, I encourage you to click the link in the left top corner that will take you to the introduction video about query loops. Let's focus on the data I used to populate slider with. So I put two wraps inside, each half size, without which it would be impossible to add any further elements. Inside the left wrap, I put image element, which I want to be featured image. To do that, you have to click dynamic data button in the image field and select offer image. What's important to be mentioned here is to fill the whole wrap with the image. Under advanced spacing, we have to set right, bottom and left margin to zero to remove any default spacing around. Into the right wrap, I put two elements. First as heading and here I put offer title, dynamic data. The second element is plain text and this one is populated with offer content data. If you wonder why content in the right wrap is aligned vertically to the image on the left, it's due to center option being set for that wrap under advanced positioning tab. By the way, if you didn't have a chance to watch my video about Flexbox positioning, I will also leave you link to that video in the left top corner so you can watch it later. Okay, so we have our section populated with dynamic data already, but you are probably wondering where did I set it to be a slider and set right animation type? That's a good question. Let's edit section then and this time navigate to style tab. Here, I set it to be slider and for animation type, I select cards from the drop-down list. There are other animation types like fade, flip or cube, but this I will explain in the other videos. As soon as we have all options set, we can click the green update button located in the right top corner and open page in front end to see how our slider looks like. A slider is set to infinite loop you can click right and left arrows infinitely. Isn't it easy to create a great looking slider that is lightweight and doesn't unnecessarily slow down the page speed? That's it for this tutorial. Hope you liked this video and from now on, you would be using this feature in your projects more often. And if you like this video, I encourage you to watch another video where I explain new countdown element in the BA Builder. And as always, thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. And if you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.